So leaked audio footage actually came out and it looks like Rain dropped a manager and you know what I'm talking about is having some troubles with the HSM artist. Uh, of course, you know, Mo3 passed away, but he left behind his two protégés, number seven and also MTM Dun Dun. Now you know. In the audio that I'm going to play, you'll pretty much be able to hear Rain drop the manager say that he contacted the police. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, he contacted the police to try to get MTM Dun Dun pretty much violated on probation. Let me play that right after the intro. Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This shows Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to the notification game, Key Talk Game, for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go to hit the notification bell so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyways. So, of course, you know, POs are kind of like extensions of the police because they have the right to like violate you and then of course you do go to jail so pretty much mtm dun dun and rainwater been getting into it you know what i'm talking about uh you know mtm dun dun came out and pretty much said f rainwater you know what i'm talking about even though he is signed to some sort of contract maybe it's directly through empire but i'm sure somewhere in that deal uh rainwater had to have ate off that as well now rainwater's coming out saying that you know mtm dun dun is just pretty much in his feelings because he blew through a whole two hundred and fifty thousand dollars is what he allegedly received whenever he signed anyways well rain drop the manager ain't taking the words from mtm done done lightly and he says he feels like his life is at risk now whenever mo3 was alive he did say that you know raindrop is not no screech at all and on the other end mtm done done is definitely a screech but with all the screech Uckery. Now you know. I'm going to go ahead and play the audio of Rain Water. Well, actually, he was talking to MTM Dun Dun and I think No Flaw Peach as well. And pretty much, you know, some of you hear Rain Water and you hear him say, So you call this PO? And he admitted to it. Me crazy. Like, you do this and put his hands on me now. Bro, I got a Hey, listen, bro. You tricking bro. Brain, you should let me get my feature first. Nigga. I got something for you. Bro, so you called the P.O.? You a law? Yeah, so Why you tripping like that, bro? That's police shit. He's saying he's scared for his life. You already know. So this kind of reminds me of like a little while ago last year, whenever, uh, you know, trash talking Charles Charles and White pretty much came out and was like, hey, MTM Dun Dun, you better watch out because uh, Rain, Rain Water done told me what you be doing with that monitor. Now, I like it, so I ain't going to say what you be doing with it, but you know what you be doing with it. And he know what you be doing with it, too. And he telling me what you be doing with it. So if that is any sort of true at all, that means Rain dropped a manager, got some type of details that he could definitely get give to the PO of MTM Dun Dun and of course if he does that it will be a wrap you know what I'm talking about especially if you got trash talking Charles who down with the police and the FBI's and all that stuff like that pretty much saying that this, it will be a wrap you know what I'm talking about I, I, it will be a wrap if he would tell the PO that so you know what I'm talking about I guess you got to play it cool you know what I'm talking about the rain drops the manager ain't playing no games about his life or, or, or getting hit or getting threatened like that and that's why he said he contacted them now let me know so do y'all think it was you know he should have contacted Buddy PO try to get his you know his probation violated because any sort of incident can violate your probation especially if you're on some type of violent probation which i'm pretty sure he is maybe like a murder or something like that um uh, and you know and then causing threats and then doing threats to somebody else that could definitely violate it so who do y'all think is and who do y'all think is capping or not <laughs> do y'all feel like he really did that or do y'all feel like rain dropped a manager is capping you know what i'm talking about he ain't really do it just trying to get that boy locked up who knows we'll just have to see as time goes on let me know something Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire ordeal.